Hello everyone and welcome to another Star Wars The Old Republic video. So I'm here on my character on the Bedron Colony and I'm going to be checking some cartel mark, uh, Galactic Trade Network sales of items that I got from the Plunderers Pack which I opened recently on my channel and I promised that I would do an update video letting you guys know about how some of the items sold and whether I made my money back. So if you guys have seen that video you'll know that I had around uh, 30 million, 30.6 30 million credits, that's what I had. And um, and I opened a plunderers pack. I bought a plunderers pack for 18 million credits. I opened it up and I was doing some experiments and I also just was really gambling for that lightning weapon tuning. I didn't end up getting that weapon tuning, but I got some other cool items and I put them all up for sale. Regardless of, you know, even though the pack's still available and stuff, I just wanted to see how they would sell, whether I would make my credits back. And we're going to see if I, that happens in this video. I personally don't even know for sure. However, I just want to quickly note that there are still some items up for sale, so I didn't sell everything. Um, as you guys can tell, I'm just kind of putting the lowest price on the GTN, trying to get it sold. The analog load lifter was one of the gold mounts I got. Unfortunately, this the price of this has basically dropped on the bedroom colony as well. It was around 600, 500,000 credits on the Harbinger, and it was going for like 2 million credits when I bought the pack on the bedroom colony. Unfortunately, when I actually put this item up to sale, up to sell, uh, it was selling for around 600, 500,000 credits. So same on the Harbinger. It was selling for the same amount of credits in the bedroom colony here, so unfortunately that happened, but all the, I don't know, maybe it got bought up or whatever, something happened, none were available right now, so I put that up for 1.5 million credits, hoping it will sell. But yeah, I've still got some miscellaneous items to sell here, but that's not even going to make me those many uh, credits, and as you guys can tell, there's no even point in selling these pets, because they sell for like 5,000 credits, so... That's pretty useless. However, if you guys look in my mailbox, you'll see a ton of successful item sales. Now, every single one of these item sales are from the Plunderers Pack. Um, everything sold, basically, uh, especially the Grand Chance Cube. So the Grand Chance Cube sold very well on the server. As you can see, I'm selling them for 340,000 credits, but I'm actually getting 320,000 credits, which is better than the Harbinger. Uh, it's better than the Harbinger by around, I, I get around 280,000 credits per uh, Grand Chance Cube on the Harbinger. So as you can see, I'm selling it for around 40,000 credits more, which is good because when you're selling like 32 Grand Chance Cubes, as you guys can tell, that's a lot of credits more than I'm getting. Um, also, um, the other good seller were the companion gifts. Companions gifts sold really, really well. I'm trying to look here to see. Uh, as you can see, I sold some stuff. Um, but as you can tell here, the companion gifts are selling really well on the bedroom colony. The bedroom colony is the place to be to sell companion gifts. They sell really well and they sell for like double or triple of what they might sell in the Harbinger or the Ebon Hawk because those are highly populated servers and so there's tons of people with companion gifts and there's tons of people who want companion gifts. So they sell really well on those servers. But on the bedroom colony there are enough people to buy these companion gifts so they do sell really well. At the same time there aren't many people putting them up on the GTN for whatever reason which means it's kind of a gold mine. I could maybe sell an armor maintenance for like 40,000 credits on the Harbinger, but as you guys can tell, I'm getting sales of 70,000 credits on the Bedroom Colony. Um, so as you can tell, there's some recent sales. I have not checked up on those, so quickly check those. As you guys can tell, I am selling companion gifts very well. Grand Chance Cubes are selling. I had to drop the price of the Grand Chance Cubes a little bit because I had to undercut some of the people. Here's one of the gold mounts I had. Unfortunately, it didn't sell for as much as I wanted it to sell for. I only got 2.3 million credits. I was hoping to get maybe closer to 3 to 4 million credits for that. Uh, more companion gifts sold and um, I'll just run through these quickly I just want to see from my own personal curiosity see what actually ended up selling so as you can see the majority of stuff that I'm actually selling from this pack aren't the actual items they're grand chance cubes and their companion gifts and then some of the items like the crystals I had to go super low on because they are just terrible sellers the crystals and the pets are complete junk that pop out of these packs so just keep that in mind alright more companion gifts so uh, in order for me to have made my credits back I will need to make sure this reaches at least 30 million. If that reaches 30.6 million credits, that means I got all my credits. That means I got all my um, credits back from the pack. And the point of me opening the pack was to gamble for that lightning weapon tuning. So even if I just hit my mark, I hit 30.6 million credits. That means I made all my credits back. I have some more items left on the GTN to sell, which means I will be making a slight profit. But most importantly, I, I had that chance to get that lightning weapon tuning. I gambled for it and I didn't actually end up losing credits, so that's still a success. If I do lose credits, however, that's going to kind of suck because that means um, the pack wasn't really worth it. Uh, but then again, when you buy a Hypercrate for 18 million credits, you can't really expect much. Uh, one quick thing I wanted to note was I had kept a Plunderous pack aside. I'd put that up to sell for 1 million credits, and I just wanted to see as an experiment whether that would actually sell. So it was just an unopened pack that I left aside. So my pack opening actually was only opening 29 packs, not the 30 packs. 
And I know some people were saying they wanted to know whether it sold. The answer is yes, it did sell for 1 million credits and sold in about a day. So I didn't have to, um, it didn't sell like right away or anything. It took a full 24 hours, but I did end up selling it. I woke up after having, um, you know, put it on for the night and I woke up in the morning and it ended up uh, having sold. So I guess these packs do sell for 1 million credits, which is pretty cool. That is definitely something to take into consideration, considering these packs sell for up, like the highest amount of credits that these packs will really sell for are 20 million credits. I'm talking about the hyper crates. And the hyper crates contain 30 packs. So technically, you could buy a hyper crate for 20 million credits, sell each individual pack for 1 million credits, uh, which, as you guys can tell from this little experiment, does sell. And you could actually make a profit of 10 million credits every time. So that is something to look into. Personally, I'll definitely be trying that out, and probably on this server. I'll be trying that out to see whether that's actually a viable way to make a few uh, cr million credits in profit very, very easily. Because as you guys can tell, you're really doing no work at all. You're just buying a hyper crate, taking out the individual packs, waiting for the cooldown timer to end, and then, and then selling them on the GTN. Alright, so I'm just going to keep doing this. I don't want to collect all that junk that you guys might have seen at the bottom. They're like item listing expiries and stuff. I don't want to collect those yet. I'd rather keep those in my mailbox for a little bit, These all these stuff. So I'd rather just... Um, do that okay so let's see I need to hit 30 million 30.6 million credits so let's see if I lost credits or made credits oh wow okay right on the mark almost right on the mark I'm at 30.5 uh, million credits so I guess the short answer is as you guys can tell tons of stuff sold <laughs> making 100,000 credits off of everything okay wow so that means uh, it definitely was worth it because I may be 100,000 credits short a few hundred thousand credits short give or take because I I know I think I ended off my video with 12.5 million credits, but end, I, I actually had 12.7 here, so that means I don't know. So I, I must have collected an item sale or something earlier that uh, that I forgot to add in this video. However, what that means is I did make my credits back, which is pretty awesome. Because once again, I still have some items here that might sell, which might make uh, m which might help me make a little bit of a profit. But most importantly, the point of that video was to gamble for that lightning weapon tuning. So basically, I did nothing. I opened a hypercrate, got all my monies back, and I was able to have that chance of getting the lightning weapon tuning, which, as you guys might know if you play in the bedroom colony, sells for a ton of credits. Sells for an absolute ton of credits. Lightning weapon tuning here. Lowest price is 20 million credits. Wow. That's still crazy expensive. When I was opening the pack, I think it was going for like 50 million credits. But obviously they don't really sell that high, uh, but definitely 20 million credits is a huge amount of credits just for one gold item. So I definitely wanted to gamble for that, and um, yeah, so I made my credits back, which once again, just means that there was no risk associated with what I did. Opened a pack, made my credits back, didn't lose any credits, and I had that chance of getting lightning weapon tuning. So I will definitely be gambling again. Um, now, unfortunately, there aren't many hyper crates up for sale. The bedroom colony is kind of a dead server when it comes to GTN because not a lot of people are putting up uh, items for sale. And when you, especially when you compare it to uh, servers like the Harbinger or the Ebon Hawk or or some EU servers like the Red Eclipse, as you guys can see, not many hyper crates up for sale. I'm not too crazy about the revenge packs. That's why I really kind of don't want to open it for for 19 million credits. That's even one million credits more than what I paid for the last one. So I will give it some time. Wait for some hyper crates to maybe come for sale here. Uh, hopefully they'll drop in price a little bit and I'll definitely be picking another one up and gambling with it and seeing whether I have the same luck as I did now. Alright, so that's the video. That's kind of my update video. Uh, highlight of this video is that that plunderous pack did sell for 1 million credits. So, I mean, technically, I could just buy that revenge pack right now for 19 million credits and sell every pack individually for a million credits and then make a profit of 10 million credits. Maybe I'll try that. I'll think about doing that for a future video. But for now, this video is over. As you guys can see, Grand Chance Cubes did drop, so the prices dropped, but I was able to sell all of mine at a much higher price, which means Grand Chance Cubes would just sell crazy. Like, like even if someone undercut you, those ones that uh, those ones that are up on sale that are lower than yours will sell in a matter of hours, you could say, and then yours will be the, the lowest price on the GTN, and yours will sell. So that kind of stuff happens. Grand Chance Cubes are a crazy good seller. As you guys can see, the, the Disavowed Packs, which is one of the worst cartel packs, those are going for the cheapest, which once again doesn't really matter because everyone knows that the Disavowed Packs kind of suck. But when it comes to other packs, like the Revenge Pack, it's going for a million credits, Visionary Pack going for 1.2 million credits, so I'll definitely look into buying those packs, seeing if they sell for a million, doing a little experiment maybe, let you guys know whether maybe something you guys want to look into doing. Alright, hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next one.